This video explains the solution to GCE O Level Additional Max 2015 Paper 1 Question 10. In this question, we are told that a train passes through the point X at a speed of 30 m per second. 20 seconds later, it reaches a point Y with a speed of 10 m per second. And during the journey from x to y, it has a acceleration of a equal to kt minus 2, where k is a constant and t is the time after passing through x. That means at this point here, t is equal to 0 second. So 20 second later, meaning the value of t at this point is 20. Based on all this information, in part 1 of the question, we are supposed to show that k equal to 0 0.1. Let's start with the acceleration expression. So since we are given velocity information, we are going to find an expression of velocity from acceleration. So velocity is the integration of acceleration. And acceleration is kt minus 2. k is a constant. T is a variable here. Okay, so this constant we copy down, integrate the variable be power plus a 1 divided by the power minus away 2t plus a c. There's a constant c here. So now we are going to plug in v equal to 30, t equal to 0 into this expression. When v is 30, k we don't know, t is 0 minus away. So from here we know that c is 30. Hence, v equal to kt square over 2. I'm, I'm copying from here. Minus 2t plus 30. Okay. We have yet to show that k equal to 0 0.1. So now we are going to make use of this information. Substitute this information into this expression. And show that k indeed is 0 0.1. Now we are going to substitute the v by 10. And the t by 20. The k appear here. This is the only k in this equation. So we can solve for k easily. If we solve for k, k will give us a value of 0 0.1. Now we have the equation for v. And in part 2 of the question, we are asked to find the distance between x and y. To find the distance, what we can do is we can integrate the velocity expression. So, um... At the point x, the time is 0 second. So the lower limit here is 0. At the point y, the time is 20 second. So this expression here will give us the distance from x to y. Now let's integrate this expression. Integrate a t squared as t cubed over 3 multiplied by 2 will give you a 6. 2t squared over 2 plus 30t. You no need to add a c here because uh, in this integration there are limits. So we just need to indicate the limits from 0 to 20. Now we're going to substitute the value 20 to all the variable t here. So we substitute the t by 20 into this expression here. Subtract away. We substitute t by 0 into this expression which will give us a value of 0. If we work out the answer, this will give us a value of 333 and one third meter.